Amen. Praise God. Pastor Suzanne Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band, a church you can call home. If you don't have a church, come visit with us. Amen. Praise God. Where we honor God, love family, serve others, and we pursue excellence. And we have a passion for God and a passion for souls. Amen. There's a lot of souls out there. And he, he told his disciples, go into all the world and preach the gospel to everybody. And there are people, people, everywhere you go, there's people. And you know where your world is? Let me define that for you. Your world is where you happen to work, where you happen to shop at, where you happen to just be around. All these places is schools, you know, wherever you happen to be, that's your world. You don't have to go across the, the ocean, you know, to, to be in someplace else. It could be right here where you live. But you know what? You're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever see or hear or be around. And so let the word of God flow from you, you know, and let the word of God out. You know, it's not good just staying in. It's got to come out. Because it's, when it comes out, it's going to do what it's supposed to be you know it's and they're going to receive it and and do something amen so praise god so i encourage you to do that yeah. Woo, hallelujah praise god i said all that to say we're going to be to uh, welcome our nbc families all visitors and all of you that are joining us by audio and video amen we're going to be talking about the one one perfect father and that's our heavenly father amen, amen. so let's remember that so Brace yourselves before we get going any further. Grab your Bibles, grab your swords, soldier of God, and let's make this declaration together. Amen. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Your mind needs to be alert all the time. The Bible tells us to renew our minds because the battlefield is the mind. Amen. So we got to renew it to what the Word of God says. Otherwise, you're just going to receive, receive any all kinds of natives, all kinds of trash and stuff. And if you don't renew your mind, you're just going to fall. And you're going to do what it says. And you're going to start believing those lies, you know. So renew your mind with the Word of God. Amen. And feed your spirit the Word of God. Amen. So praise God. Woo. Oh, praise God. God is so good. <laughs> Let me see. Happy Father's Day. I like that, huh? <laughs> for all you fathers watching all you fathers listening happy father's day listen to this it says the greatest gift I ever had came from God I call him dad amen I guarantee you, you have a dad because you're here <laughs> amen we all have a dad Yes. amen so praise God and I call him dad so happy father's day amen. to all you that are watching all of you that are listening Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for giving us our dad, for giving us our fathers. Amen. Praise yes. God. To our uh, all fathers watching, listening, and in heaven, happy Father's Day. Feliz Dia de los Padres. We want to love you and let you know we, we love you, we honor you, and we want to say thank you and we miss you. Amen. So praise yeah. God. Thank you, Lord. And listen to this. Father loved us so much that he said, he said, he gave us his only begotten son. John uh, 3.16 says, for God so loved the world. Yes. And, that means people. Oh. For God so loved people. He wants his people back. He lost, he, he wants them back. He said that he gave, he sent his only, only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. life. Amen. Whew. Man. So he is our heavenly father. If you don't know him as your heavenly father, it's time that you do. Uh -huh. Amen. It's time you quit running away. Yeah. And all you have to do is just stop and uh, confess and repent yeah. and say, Lord, I receive you as my heavenly father. Amen. You have a heavenly father, but you need to receive him. You, know, you need to confess it and, and say it. You know, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? He's not going to take you. He's not going to reject you. He's going to receive you. And you now you start walking his way. You start going his way. And you start getting in the word and, and doing what the word says. So you can start yes. walking in the right direction and not the wrong direction. Amen. Amen. Let me see. I wrote it this way. For God, Father God, excuse me, for Father God so loved the world, us, that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. And I want to have everlasting life with him in heaven. 
not the other way, but this way. Up, up, up. Keep going. We got a few scriptures here for you. Uh, number 6, 24 through 20, 26 says, Happy Father's Day. He says, Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance on yeah. you and give you peace. Amen. Amen. If you want to have peace, you know what? You got to have peace. Yeah. You want the Prince of Peace with you. Otherwise, you're not going to have peace. Especially you hear all these negative reports. And that's all he wants you to do. All he wants you to do is hear the bad news. Uh -huh. Amen. And you've got the good news, ain't you? Yes. You can go out and share good news with them, you know. <laughs> They're tired of the bad news. You know, some people just shut it off. Mm. If you're just getting full of the bad news, guess what's going to come out of you? Mm -hmm, Nothing but nasty, bad stuff, you know. Yep. So you got to get full of the good news. So that you can go and share it, share it, and don't keep it in you. It's time to give it, you know, share it. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Keep on. We have a few scriptures with you. We won't keep you long. But happy Father's Day. It says, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. Pastor Pat was talking about that a few minutes ago. You know, trust in him. He's going to, he wants to direct you in the right way. Amen. Your father wants to, not only your earthly father, but your heavenly father wants to lead you and guide you in, in the right way. Amen. But trust him. You can go to him anytime. I don't care who says who. I, you know, if it's not scriptural, put it aside. And no, go by what this, what this uh, scripture says, what the word of God says. And you can go to him and he wants to direct you in the right way. Amen. And you know what? He's got a great future for you. He's got great plans for you, and none of them can cook their feet. That's it. Amen. You don't have to put up with all this negative stuff. Amen. He wants to do good things, good things for you. Amen. Keep going. Uh, Psalms 103 and verse 13 says, Just as the Father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him, honor him, have reverence for him. That's the kind of fear. Amen. Praise God. Ooh, man, I've got in a couple of translations here for you. Uh, the good news says this. A father is kind, compassionate to his children. So the Lord is kind and compassionate to those who honor and fear him. Amen. And the NIV says, a father has compassion on his children. So the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. And the Amplified says it like this. Just as a father loves his children, the Lord loves those who fear and worship him with all feelings, respect, and deepest reverence to him. Amen. So, man, the best thing to do is get in the word. You know, and I, I, I look at different translations to see what they say. You just don't have to stick with one. Which one is right? <laughs> you know, stick stick with it. I mean, and, and look at different ways. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for loving us and for sending Jesus. And thank you, Jesus, for coming and fulfilling your mission. Amen. He came. He never gave up. You know, from the time he left heaven, Till the time he gave himself back to the Father. He knew when he left heaven that he was going to be sacrificed. And he knew on a daily basis that he was going to be sacrificed. But he never changed his mind. Mm -hmm. He stayed focused. And you know what? A couple of times, several times, I'm sure, he went to the Father and said, So I need your strength, you know. If you haven't gone to Father <laughs> lately, you need to go. Because you know what this world is like. And what's, what we're going through. And what's happening you know it's getting in the last days in second timothy chapter three it talks about in the last days things are going to get worse before they get better now, i ain't trying to scare you i'm just trying to say this is what the word of god says so stay focused and stay prepared yes amen he's, he's coming back but things might get a little rough rougher amen but you know what with him we have victory with yes, him we have peace yes. it, it, uh, uh, if not, you know, there's a lot of people out there killing themselves. Oh, Jesus. You know, and that's not the way out. No, it's not. You know, you you, you, you belong to Him. Yes, you do. If you don't know yet, you belong to Him. Uh-huh. So you taking yourself aside is not a right, a right thing to do. Amen. What you need to do is stay focused on Him yes. so that you know what to do. And He wants you to go out and share. So more people can come into the kingdom of God. Amen. Ooh, Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Keep going. Well, this is what he's given us. 
and he didn't make no suggestions. He gave us some commandments. <laughs> and the fifth commandment talks about in Exodus 20 and 12 says, Honor your father and your mother that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God gives you. Mm -hmm. Amen. We want to go good. Amen. I know, I know things, you know, may not be right at home, but still you ask the Lord to give you the strength that you need. Amen. To continue. Amen. So we have a fifth commandment says five and keep going. There's another one uh -huh. and another uh, 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 book of Deuteronomy. It says in 516, it says, Honor thy father and thy mother as the Lord thy God has uh, commanded thee, mm -hmm. that thy days may be prolonged and that it may go well with thee yes. in the land which the Lord God giveth thee. Amen. Yeah. So we want everything to go smooth. Amen. Amen. Listen, yeah. in our days when we was growing and things were a little wild and stuff, but now I know the truth. Uh -huh. And I've settled down and I've changed. Change is a good thing. Yes, it is. Amen. So we need we need uh -huh. to change and we need to line up with what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. The Bible says we can do all things through Christ. Amen. Yeah. If you try to deal with it in the world, you ain't gonna do anything. But if you try to deal with it using the word of God, you can change. Anybody can change. Amen. Yes. Uh, you know, you, you see some Bible heroes, God used them, but they're going around doing all kind of crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. But God changed them. The Word of God changed them. Amen. If they can change, so can we. But we have an option. Are you going to receive Him? Are you going to accept Him? Are you going to confess Him as your Lord and Savior? Let Him be your Heavenly Father. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> and one more. Ephesians uh, 6, 1 through 3. The New King James says, Children, that says, now listen, if he's your heavenly father, then we're his children. Yes. When you confess him as Lord and Savior, uh -huh. he is your heavenly father now. Yes, and you're his child. So don't go around still calling yourself a sinner. Right. Because if you've confessed Jesus as your Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. you don't go around calling yourself a sinner anymore. You call yourself a child of God. Mm -hmm. I may fall and I may sin, but I confess and give it back to him. So, Lord, I sin against you. Good. Now, he's going to cleanse you, and you're going to press on yeah. and doing what he wants you to do. Because yes. he's called you, and you have a mission. Amen. And he's equipped you to win, not to lose. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, it says, child, children, obey your parents mm -hmm. in the Lord, for this is right. Honor mm -hmm. your father and your mother, which is the first commandment with the promise, that it may be well with you. And you may live long on the earth. Oh, yeah. He's given us a lot of clues already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want to live long, guess what? Oh, yeah. Be obedient. Amen. Obedient goes a long way with God. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Amen. I'll tell you, I uh, retired military, and uh, there was a lot of commands that I had to obey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you don't obey, you don't find yourself in the military anymore. <laughs> They call this honorable discharge, mm -hmm. and I didn't want that. Oh, <laughs> so you have to learn how to say yes, sir, yes, ma'am, and go and uh -huh. obey what commands are given to you. Okay. Well, how much more with our Heavenly Father? Okay. Yes, sir. This is what I want. You, this is what He wants you to do. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Keep going. This is uh, another yeah. translation here. It says, imitate God. Uh -huh. We're, if you want to teach your child, <laughs> teach him about imitating God. And you imitate God, Father, imitate God yes. so that your child can see the God in you. Amen. Amen. Be Christ-like. Yes. It says, imitate God, therefore, in everything you do because you yes. are his dear children. Uh -huh. Live a life filled with love, fulfilling the example of Christ. <laughs> he loved us and offered himself as a sacrifice for us. A pining aroma to God. Amen. Amen. Let me Amen. see. But I don't have it in the uh, Amplified. Let me get it from the Amplified in Ephesians. You can open your Bibles to the book of Ephesians in chapter 6. I want to read it to you from the Amplified. So, <clears throat> the says, Children, obey your parents and the Lord as his representatives. 
for this is just and uh, this is just and right. Mm -hmm. Number two says, honor, esteem, and value as precious your father and your mother. Yes. This is the first commandment with the promise. Mm -hmm. Says, and verse three says, that all may be well with you, and that you may live long on the earth. Amen. Amen. So I want to live <laughs> as long as he wants me to until he calls me home. Mm -hmm. Amen. But uh, I don't want to end it any, any sooner than, <laughs> than it has to be. <laughs> oh, well, he says live long, so I, I, I receive that. I want to live long too. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and uh, I got to go with the next. Keep, keep going. Then we got some good, uh, good ones for you. Proverbs 20, 22 and 6 says, direct your children. It says, Happy Father's Day. Direct your children in the right path. And when they are old, they will not leave it. Yes, Amen. Is. I'm going to read it to you from here. It says, mm -hmm. verse 22 says, Train up a child, father, yes. mother, in the way they should go. Yes. And when they are old, they will not depart from it. Mm -hmm. Don't pass up this opportunity. Don't pass this to, don't pass this to the world. Mm -hmm. Don't pass this up to the schools. Don't pass this up to a babysitter. No. Don't pass this up to a uh, uh, a gang member. Mm -hmm. Don't pass this up to anyone else. Mm -hmm. This is for you, mother and father, mm -hmm. yeah. to train your child the way they should go. Yes, yes. Amen. Be Christ-like that they may see the Christ through you or in you. Amen. So yeah. the world is doing too much of this. Yes. You know, passing it up to somebody else. Yeah. We don't hope on our children. Anybody can be a father. Mm. But not everybody can be a dad. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> you can father a child, yeah, 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 yeah. So what? But you know, are you being a dad too? Mm. Are you training them the way they should come? Mm. Amen. Amen. You still love pastor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Father and Jesus too. They teach us how to forgive and forget. Yes. Because we are totally against that. We, we fight that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. So, praise God. Um, says, perhaps your father is still alive. Praise God and say thank you to him. Mm -hmm. Heavenly says, in, in heaven, we'll praise God still and thank him. Honor him. No excuses. It's a command from God, not a suggestion. If he's alive, call him. Talk to him. Amen. Visit with him. You know, it's easy to just uh, write or text. You know, but still, call or visit him. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm not finished yet. <laughs> There's so many ways to stay in touch with no excuses. Mm -hmm. Love, accept, forgive, and honor him. Fix the wrongs fix the past mm -hmm. it could be it could happen yeah. jesus came to fix what was wrong and he fixed it so to set an example for us we can do the same thing we yes. can fix the past amen just say hey, i forgive you amen have a relationship that's what the father wants us to do love one another amen Woo. hallelujah <laughs> says one reason god includes uh this commandments that we just went through the fifth commandment it says, uh, it runs against our human nature. As humans, we always want to do the opposite. Our tendency is to fight and disrespect authority. Mm -hmm. Happens to all of us. Amen. I'm, like I said, I was military and I saw a lot of people be discharged, dishonorable discharge, because they wouldn't change their ways. They were in the wrong place. Our tendency is to fight it. We want to fight God's authority. We want to fight parents' authority. We want to fight all authority at work, schools, uh, uh, public, uh, police, the church. We want to fight all authority. Amen. We want to be free just like Barabbas. You know, they had a, a, a chance to release Jesus. And, and, and he, was, he, he was compared with the Barabbas. Mm. He said, who should I release? Mm. Uh, he says, I can release any, anybody. Who, who will I release? Jesus or Barabbas? Barabbas a murderer. Mm -hmm. A bad guy. And they say Barabbas. Mm -hmm. They released the bad guy instead of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Jesus just went with it because he knew his mission. Mm 
We know our mission. We know what we go through, but we need to stay focused on Him so that we can fulfill what He wants us to do. Yes. Every one of us, okay? So don't exclude yourself. You're here for a reason, and that's because He put you here. Yeah. And if He put you here, He's got a mission for you, Lord. Best thing to do is go to Him and find out what it is. Yeah. Go into all the world mm -hmm. and teach His gospel. Preach the gospel to everybody. Not just somebody, not just a little group, not just a little selection, but to everybody mm -hmm. that doesn't know Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen? To everybody. So they release Barabbas. We want to do our own thing like the prodigal son say, hey, Dad, <laughs> just give me what's mine. I'm out of here. I'm gone. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay? We've all been there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I told Dad, I'm out of here. I'm gone. And I said, I'm going to to <laughs> but the prodigal son ran into problems dad was teaching him right mm -hmm. he said son everything I have is for you yeah. the second son he was mad when the first mm -hmm. son when the prodigal son came home yeah. he said I've been here what about me mm -hmm. he says all I have is yours mm -hmm. but still uh, the prodigal son he went he wanted to do his own thing mm -hmm. and that's what the enemy wants you to do he wants to separate you you know, from, from he wants to separate you and pull you and take you the wrong way, send distractions your way, and you're following these things and going the wrong way mm -hmm. until he found himself eating with the pigs. Mm -hmm. Man, I can do better than this at home. And come back home wanting to be a slave, you know, wanting to his his own terms. Dad says, No, I got things for you. And he says, Come dress him, you know, put this on him, you know. Mm -hmm. We're gonna kill the fatty calf. I need to hurry because we got a fatty calf outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we must learn to be obedient. Be obedient, obey, commit, and submit. Yes. Man, we need to do that. Something Jesus knew very well. He submitted to the Father. And we need to do the same thing. We need to be obedient. We need to commit ourselves and uh, submit ourselves. Yeah. And say, Lord, here, mine send me. Mm -hmm. And I can do whatever you wants me to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. There's so many fathers. There's many, many, many have celebrated many, many, many uh, Father's Day. And some of us, this might be your first. Still, happy Father's Day. Amen. And uh, God wants us to be the best we can be. Amen. Father, it says Father's Day, we focus on our uh, on, uh, on the good qualities, mm -hmm. the teachings, the examples, the talents, the abilities, good memories, remembrance, and re 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 recollections. Amen. Mm -hmm. Forgetting the past, the hurts, the fails, the mistakes, and the imperfections because those things happen. Mm -hmm. But you know what? When you know the truth, you just got to go back and make it right. Amen. I say, well, it wasn't my fault. Mm -hmm. Still, it wasn't Jesus' fault to go mm -hmm. to the cross. But he was sacrificed. Yes. And he went. Yes, he did. Amen. And you know what? The robber next to him, the one that was still mocking him, and the other one says, you know, I've done wrong. And confessed right there in front of him. And received Jesus as his Lord and Savior. He says, today you'll be with me. What about you? You know, you're watching, you're listening. It's your time. Amen. It's not too late. It's never too late. Amen. You ain't back yet. So it's never too late. You can do that now. Whether you are a biological father or mother, a stepfather or mother, an adopted father, I'm an adopted father, I'm a stepfather. But listen, this is what I'm gonna say here in a few minutes. You're still a father or a mother. Be the best father or mother you can be. God has placed these children in your care. Take ownership. Be the best father, be the best mother you can be. He's trusting you. Children receive and accept your father and your mother. Listen to this. Talk about Joseph, stepfather. He was chosen to be Jesus' stepfather. <laughs> God chose Joseph to be the earthly father of Jesus. The Gospel of Matthew said uh, Joseph was a righteous man. His, act his actions towards Mary, his fiance, revealed his kind, his kindness, and, and the sensitivity of, 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 the, of a man. When Mary told Joseph she was pregnant, he had every right to feel disgrace. He knew that the child was not his own. 
And Mary, apparently unfaithful, carrying a, a, a grave dis, a public uh, dishonor. Joseph not only had the right to divorce Mary under Jewish laws, she could have been uh, put to death by stoning. But he didn't say anything. Although Joseph's initial reaction was to break the engagement, the appropriate thing for a righteous man to do, he treated Mary with extreme kindness. He did not want to cause further shame. So he decided to act quickly, I mean quietly, but God sent an angel to Joseph just to reassure things. He sent the angel to verify Mary's story and re reassure him that his marriage to her was a God's will. Amen. So he knew and he had peace about it and he treated her still with kindness. Joseph willingly obeyed God in spite of public humiliation he would have faced. You know, we're, pre we're, we're called to preach the gospel, not to gossip. There's a lot of gossip out there, and there's a lot of people that gossip and take the gossip everywhere. So be careful that you're not doing this. As gossip, gossip gets around, and some people know everything. Yeah, go see brother so and so. Go see sister so and so. They know everything. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you have to be careful. Perhaps this noble quality made him God's choice for Jesus' earthly father. God knew. God knows us. He knows yes, the worst about you and loves you the most. <laughs> Amen. No. So let's remember this. We, we, we can't hide anything. That's it. We can't hide it. He knows it all. Still, he knew about Joseph. And he chose Joseph. And he chose Mary. I mean, I'm sure there's hundreds, thousands of virgins, but he chose Mary. Amen. But he's chosen you to go and preach the gospel to the whole world. If he's chose you and he put you here, you know, what are we to do? We're to do our best for him. He gave his best. God gave his best. Jesus gave his best. We can give our best. But you know what? You got to stay focused. You got to stay filled and hungry for more of him. If yeah. not, you know, you start falling by the wayside and you start copying the world. We're not made to be copies. We're made to be originals and, and, and be what God has called us to be. Amen. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ. You know, when, when you start taking your focus off of Him, <laughs> you start doing less and you start going by the wayside. And we, we can't do that. We can't go by the wayside. We can't stop. We got to keep pressing on. We got to keep pressing on. We got to race and we, we got to stay on this race to the finish. Not then, not before, you know. But the world's going to distract you on a daily basis, you know, and try to pull you aside. Go a different way. Go this way. This is a new thing. No, it's not. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So anyway, our heavenly Father, fathers be more like Him and put all hopes in Him. He's the best Father. We're to imitate Him. He said it, it, the example. And we, we're to imitate him. Again, uh, in Ephesians 5, 1 and 2 says, Therefore be imitators of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also loved us and gave himself for us, an offering, yes. a sacrifice to God, a sweet-smelling aroma. Mm -hmm. So let's remember to cel uh, celebrate and honor God on a daily basis, not just once in a while. You know, hey, when things are going good and when things are going bad, <laughs> you know, he, he says, the song we sing, he says, he's God on the mountain and he's God in the valley. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, we go through some valleys. But remember, even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. Why? Because mm -hmm. God is with me. He said he never leaves you nor forsakes you. Amen. We're the ones that feel lonely. We're the yes. ones that, that, that start forgetting about him. But he never forgets about us. If he's saying he say, Jesus and Jesus was sacrificed, and Jesus gave his best. They don't forget. We don't want to say, go by the wayside and start forgetting just like the mm -hmm. prodigal son and start wanting our own ways and our own things. And let's remember to stay focused. Yeah. He knows what's best for you. He says he'll supply all of your needs. Okay, so he's your provider. Mm -hmm. He's your provider. He's there for you. I'm getting a little hit on myself. But anyway, 
Mm -hmm. A father has a, a expectation for his father, for for his children. In John three sixteen. This is a God's plan of salvation. He shows us what He did for us. Again, He sent Jesus mm -hmm. to die for us. Yes. Amen. He sent Jesus uh, to die for us. He gave His only Son so that we could be saved. It shows us what we, uh, what He expects us to do, mm -hmm. and what uh, whatever believes in Him, whoever believes in Him, shall not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. So you know. You, you, you're, you're, there, you're here for him. You're his representative. The Bible says the old is out, the new is in, and yes. you're now a minister of reconciliation, bringing the gospel to a lost world. Amen. Being a, an ambassador for him means you're his mouthpiece wherever you happen to go. Mm -hmm. Wherever your world is, you're speaking to him. Yes. But he wants you to speak, not be silent. <laughs> we have a role to play in our salvation. God expects us to believe in him. He doesn't expect more than we can give, and he doesn't. He does expect us uh, to be involved. Yeah. Let's be participators and not just spectators. Spectators yeah. just judge, but let's participate. Let's be participators. Amen. Yeah. What else you got for me, Carl? Matthew six fourteen and fifteen says, "If you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you." It's so important that we forgive and forget. But if you don't forgive men their trespasses, neither will your heavenly Father forgive you your trespasses. So let's let's, uh, let's remember this. That's what the Word of God says. It's scriptural. Mm -hmm. So don't hold it. Let it go. You know, some of us been holding too much stuff. We gotta let it go. He says, Clean, uh, "Cast these things on me because I care for you." So let's. Past the, the past. Don't be a prisoner of your past. Yes, Just yes. let's let's forgive and forget. Yeah. Keep on. Then Peter came to him and says, "Lord, how often shall uh, my brother sin against me, and I forgive him up to seven times?" Jesus said to him, "I do not say to uh, say to you up to seven seven times, but up to seventy times seven." Matthew eighteen twenty one and twenty two. So, you know, basically, there's no limit. Just forget it. Amen. Forgive and forget. He said, are we just seven times? No. Because there's going to be more. And there's going to be more. Keep going. There we go. Those of you watching, those of you listening, those of all the church family here, says 1 John 1, 9 says this in the King James, if we, if I, you can make that personal. Mm -hmm. If I confess my sins, he is faithful and just to forgive me of my sins yes. and to cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Right. Personalize yeah. that. I yes. need to confess it to him. Yeah. Anytime if I sin, hmm. confess to him. And he's, what does he say? This is scriptural. He yeah. is faithful and just to forgive me yeah. my sins my and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. It's, it's not just us. I mean, all of us. But I make it myself. Mm -hmm. Forgive me, Lord. Yes, He's going to forgive me. But you got to speak it out. It says, if I, if I confess, means I have to say something. Mm -hmm. I have to I have to get it out, and I have to speak it out. Keep going. Mm -hmm. And this is what we need to do on a daily basis. Seek Him first. We have so many priorities. I know you work. I know you have jobs that you go to, and there's so many priorities, man. Military-wise, I have top priorities, all kinds of priorities. But you know what? When I receive Jesus, my Lord and Savior, He's above. I get up early, and I seek Him first. And that's what Matthew 6, 33 says, what? But seek first the kingdom of God, His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to go with Him and get my peace. And I'm going to let the storms go. And when somebody comes to me on a daily basis with a storm of life, I don't let them drag me out of my peace. Mm -hmm. I drag them into my peace. Mm -hmm. And I share with them so that they can have peace about the situation. Yeah. And you can do the same thing. Yeah. Bring them into your peace. Mm -hmm. Don't let them drag you into what they've got. You bring them into your peace. 
Amen. Amen. I mean, we can do this. It's very easy, you know. Otherwise, we just fall into, well, this is what's going around. And you just go flow with the flow, go with the flow. No, it's going to stop here. Because <laughs> I'm going to drag you into my peace. And this is what the Word of God says. I'm not receiving this. Amen. Do you receive it? No. I'm not going to receive that because it's not of God. It. And it's negative, And that's not me. Amen. So we're going to close with this. Yeah. And you say, everybody say, Amen. 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 So we hardly touch the surface of who our Heavenly Father is. But He's our perfect Heavenly Father. He's yeah. a Father that always, always, always uh, yeah. wants for you. Amen. He's a Father who always uh, available to you. Let's remember this. He's always available. And you know, it seems like we always go to Him last. Or it seems like we're ashamed and don't want to go see Him. But He already knows. So if He knows, He says, come to me. Cast all these things and come and see me. I want to see you. He always says, He's even knocking Wanting to come in, but you're not letting him in. No. <laughs> it's time that you answer the door <laughs> and let him in. Amen. Amen. He wants to visit with you on a daily basis. Yeah. Not not just to receive him as Lord and Savior, but he just wants to visit with you so that you can have peace, you know. Yeah. And you can come and just unload on him or, or live on him. Yeah. You know, Paul and Silas, they were in prison and they got beaten, you know, for, for sharing Jesus. They got beaten bad. And you know what they did? They started singing. They started praising, worshiping God in prison. And even though it was all beat up, you know. And guess what? God heard. Jesus heard and he showed up. He came and visited with them. And everybody in that prison got saved, including the guards. So guess what? You have peace about it. Spend time with him. And you know, he's going to bless you. And you're going to take that out, in, out there and do all, all these things for him. And you can do all things for him. Yeah. Amen. So let's let's remember that. So he's a father who is always available. He is a father that wants the best for you. He is a father who will gladly adopt you into his family. I don't know who's told you what. You've done the worst sin. God won't accept you anymore. It's not scriptural. It's not a, that's a lie. Amen. He wants he'll receive you each and every way. But you have to come and receive the message. You have no problem. Amen. Amen. So thanks, thank God for being my provider, for being my disciplinarian, for being my security. Uh -huh. He's personal and he's always there for me. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Do you receive? Amen. Yes, I receive. Thank you, Father. So all of you watching, all of you listening, you know. If you have never accepted Christ, this is time right now. We've said it all through the message here. But if you haven't confessed the message, Lord, and Savior, now is the time. Amen. All you need to do is just say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And He's going to adopt you. He's going to take you. And, 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 and uh, you can be his, his child. Amen. He's going to receive you. So let's remember this. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. And uh, start living for Him. And start uh, going to church. You know, find yourself a Bible-based church where you teach the Word of God. And you can go there and learn. Get you a Bible. Start reading the Word. And start getting the Word in you. So the Word can come out of you. Amen. Amen. And God loves you. And God says, you can do all things through Him who strengthens you. Amen. So praise God. If you have sickness in your body. And I speak this over myself all the time, too. By Jesus Christ, I am healed. I just had a uh, uh, checkup, and the doctor says, man, you're you're great. I said, well, praise God. Thank God. Amen. So from head to toe, I am healed according to what the Word of God says. By Jesus Christ, I am healed. So I speak healing over my body. Yeah. I speak no malfunctions in my body. I want my body to function the way God created it to function. Everything functioning perfect in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. So, praise God. I receive that. And uh, it's time to give. Yes. Thank you, Lord. So, those of you who are watching, just go to our website. It's on the screen. It says Big Ben, uh, NBC Big Ben and hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, 
uh, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. And uh, if you don't cash it, give again his church of uh, the Big Ben. Amen. Oh, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Stretch your hands this way. Let's release our faith. Father, we just thank you for an opportunity to give. Bless the gift and the giver, Lord. Thank you for opening the windows of heaven and point out a blessing when I do what you take, Father God. And thank you for rebuking the Lord for our sake, Father. And thank you for this food that we brought to partake. Bless it and sanctify it for our bodies. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. I need you to turn off the camera. <laughs> I, I slid it over and guess what? The whole button came over. <laughs>